lived here at Crystal Waters for 31 years. I bought into the plan in the mid 80s and I've been interested in permaculture since 1983 I did my permaculture course. And permaculture to me is about designing things, gardens, orchards, organic agricultural systems, buildings, even financial systems, but also about designing social spaces as well, all kinds of spaces and places. And using common sense design principles that were based on nature. So yeah, Bill Morrison and David Holmgren who initiated permaculture in the early days, the system of our principles has evolved from their early work over many years now. And those principles are really the foundation using common sense design principles to design anything based on the needs of people and the needs of nature. In the early days, this land that is now Crystal Waters Permaculture Eco Village was a cattle farm. In the late 70s and early 80s, it was a more loosely structured alternative community that ended up needing and wanting some more structure. So then it became designed for a permaculture village environment and to settle people on rural land. And so it was existing land that needed some retrofitting and redesign and permaculture principles lent itself really beautifully to settling up to 250 people on the land here. And part of the reason that it was such a good piece of land is that it has creeks and rivers on the boundaries, it had lots of sun facing slopes, clean air, yeah, fantastic climate in the subtropics so, and lots of nature, lots of good reasons. So in the future I see all kinds of things given that villages grow and evolve over centuries and we're 30 years old now as a village community. And so over that next 30 years possibly, I, now that we've built all our houses, there's small zonal systems and little forests and the common land being used for all kinds of things, I see us filling in the pictures there. Lots more permaculture on the common land and the common spaces as people look for industries and little enterprises to support themselves to live here. Lots more businesses thriving. We've got small tiny house um, business about to start up at Crystal Waters. We've also got an advanced permaculture school being designed and invented by a man here to use quite a bit of the common land within the co-op area here. I imagine maybe we will have a school one day. The children didn't want one originally. They wanted to mix with other kids, but we might have more structures for that. And also I imagine a retirement space for people, lots of older people living here and wanting to grow old together in community. Yeah, I see a very exciting future.